tonight is date night. Date night. Woo! I have two of our very favorite people in the whole world with us. My best friend Catherine and her amazing husband Mitchell. And his mustache. We wanted to hang out with you guys and be with them because not only are we doing date night, but Mitchell is actually a sommelier. Is that how you say it? Is that how you say it? That's right. Jordan and I know nothing about Zero. wine. They are wine snobs. Snob. You That's call so it that. Negative. You call it that. It's, we say that with, with all love. He's educated. So he's going to teach us a lot about wine tonight. But before we get into that, she's my very best friend. We've known each other for like 10, 10 11 years. They have been married for how long? A couple years? <gasps> two it's years only now. Only two, but 10 in, in our head. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Their wedding was one of the first things that we did together yeah. as a couple yeah. right after the show. So that was kind of fun. Mm. All of the girls. I had them all in different outfits. That part, part was plan. a little yeah. stressful. Yeah. Finding your top was stressful. But it yeah. looked great. It looked yeah. amazing. Yeah. Speaking of weddings. Mm. We actually have an interesting update on that. You oh, guys yeah. gotta wait on that one. We're gonna, do it, we're gonna do it in a different episode. Why be here? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you'll just have to tune in. We'll write maybe you a letter. Well, we're gonna be planning a wedding at some point in the near future. Mm -hmm. What is some of, like, now that you've done it, what, what's the advice you got? Let JoJo Let do me plan most it. of Every the stuff. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. He <laughs> threw in, like, I like this, I don't like this, and I was like, thank you, I like this, and that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Catherine did a great job planning oh. the wedding. I mean, well, she didn't need a much help. I feel a like much ahead. A much ahead. <laughs> <fine. laughs> I'm getting in the uh, wine <laughs> spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. I want I'm some thirsty. Others. There is so much wine in front of us. This was something that Kathy sprung on me. Do uh, not call me Kathy. An hour ago. I love Kathy. Call her Kathy. <laughs> Everybody loves Kathy. Yeah. What I was planning on doing was just bringing over one of these bottles of wine, but then yeah. Catherine oh, said, "Hey, bring three more." And I figured I would put some together that we could try next to each other and have some fun. Because they all yep. look the exact same. Yeah, they're amazing. not though. They're all so do, different. Do, let's grab this one here. here okay, which one? This, this one. Is for us. Okay. This is a fun wine. So uh, I wanted to start with this guy. Uh, this is South Hole Farm and Cellars. This is Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. A fun, fun little wine to start with because this is actually wait, a wait, sparkling. Okay, yeah. So what are you doing right now? So though? my only like when I think of like if someone puts a good wine in front of me, you know what I immediately go to? Sniff. Is right? Parent Trap. Parent she's Trap. She's sitting there. She's like. I have a serious thing about this because you know when you go to nice restaurants right. and they pour you a sample of the wine before you're like, yeah, pour the whole thing in there. Yeah, what like, what, to, what, what am I, for? what am I doing when they pour me that sample? When you do order a bottle of wine at a restaurant, they are going to pull the cork. They're going to show you the cork, and a lot of people think that the reason that they give you the cork is so that you can smell the cork. Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually really. I mean, you can do that if you want. That's fun. If you hit your nose with it, it's going to leave a mark on your nose. <laughs> But really the reason they're showing you that is because you want to look on the cork and see that that wine that you're looking at on the label is also printed on the cork. Because there have been some issues in the past with counterfeiting and you can't really counterfeit a wine. So really the cork is so that you can see Sorry. that the wine you're drinking is the wine that you're drinking. Sorry, Jackson, Jackson wants some wine. Jackson wants to be involved right He's very on, interested in the wine. Sit? She wants to learn. So you want to try the wine first to make sure that the wine is not tainted. You know what that means. It's yeah, not that well. Mean? So you want to taste like the vinegar. wine if it tastes like vinegar okay. or like really off. Off. You'll it, know. It, it's tough to say because wines now are being made like this one in particular in some funkier styles now. This whole natural wine movement that's coming in. So. Funky smells sometimes are, now are kind of well, good. Well, this kind of smells a, a little different, smell. yeah. right? This is actually a sparkling red. Let's let's drink. We will okay, drink. So wait, okay. do we need to sniff it? We can sniff it. Okay, yeah. let's sniff what it. What am I looking for when I sniff it? Vinegary. You're said. looking it's for been the notes. Listen. The notes. Yeah, it's natural. This is a yeah. patio pounder, man. This is oh. like by the patio pool. Patio pounder. Hey. Not an expensive hey. bottle. <laughs> I mean, just. Open it up and rip it. So if you want to get something like this, something that's like a, a frizzy red wine, you could ask for like a Lambrusco uh, from Italy. And some stores may have it, your local grocery store. That's a little funky. Really good and coming from somebody that I don't think I even really like red wine. Let's okay, let's keep it going, next. Mm. So next, we're gonna grab this one right here. Okay. Oh, he touched my toe. This Merlot from Mayacamas. No. Um, this is actually a really, nice, easy drinking wine. So the key about wine, people get kind of fussy about wine and people get a little bit intimidated about the world of wine. Mm. Wine is just about 
drinking what you enjoy. I wanted to start light and kind of move deeper. This one smells weird to me. Weirder than the first one, to be honest. Like, I don't this like the smell This one smells more that. like traditional, like, like a, like a really? traditional yeah. red wine. I don't know why that smelled so weird to me. Mm. Rubbing alcohol, kind of. Mm, yum, yum. That's, it, there's alcohol in yum, it. Yum, yum. Yeah, it does have is, alcohol. There is alcohol. There is alcohol in it, which is, News to some now people, the point. Now I'm getting a weird smell. <laughs> Well, I mean, through the mustache, it's yeah. it's a little bit more <laughs> difficult. But cherries, some cherries. I, I get cherry. How I know that sounds so cliche that? with like red wine, like oh, cherries, yeah, you can but get, eat, like, I get I get uh, like an barnyard. Like an oaky. Yeah, there's no, there's, there's a little, little there's bit, a little a bit, but not crazy. Like oak. a light pine. Oh yes. my gosh. A very light, maybe a cedar. Yes, it's a, that's what it is. It's oh cedar. wait. You you picking that up? Oh wait. One second. I'm smelling cedar. If you, if you close yeah. your ear too while you're smelling it, yeah. that helps. If Insane. you've ever watched Scratch sideways, your belly. Sing yeah. into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Really. Shut up. In. No, you <laughs> really? got to. Speaking. No. <laughs> hold on. Hold, speaking of smell, like you guys have been married, it's something that I think is is oh, important to talk God. about. Catherine, have you ever farted in front of Mitch? Oh, yes, my. all, all the, time. the time. Every day of my life. Right. I don't know Shit. why. As I've gotten older, I'm a gassy woman. And it's, they're so you know, bad. You realize your best friend it's not dainty. has it's never farted in front of me. Well, she's farted in front of me. This is what, what? the people like? Have <laughs> I? Yeah, they're not like clear the car, but they are They are there. <laughs> when you see people swirling this, uh, you're oxygenating no it. You're really opening it up. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I still it. don't really know the difference of it, but apparently people, everyone, he does it, so I do it too. It makes you look like you know what you're doing. So if you guys are wanting to find this in the store, this is a Merlot from the Napa Valley. This one in particular is like a mountain fruit. So the, the grapes are growing a really high elevation. Mm. So if you're at your wine store and you're looking for a lighter style Merlot, just tell the guy you're looking for a high elevation or a mountain fruit Merlot. Wow. That's really and good advice. you'll find a nice, easy drinking Merlot like this. <laughs> so we Ooh, are big, now big on to this guy. This is Ab Astris Tanat. Guys, this is from their winery. Yeah. So this is like how into wine they are that they just started their own winery. Yeah. Just note that. Sure. It's not my winery, I just help. But you're definitely involved. Yeah, I, I prune, I prune, I prune vines. So I smell something like buttery. Oh girl, oh, I love you that you just said opened that. Up a whole, I love that you said that because that is worms. my wine is a yummy buttery red. Because I smell can butter worms. and like oh. I, I never can, to be honest, I never can smell anything in these things. They all smell the same. But I actually smell something butter in here. Is that right? Yes, it is yes, right. It is, it is right. Because... To my chagrin, it is correct. So the reason that this is controversial between Catherine and I is that, like Catherine said, buttery is usually something you use to describe a white wine. But Catherine forever has said that she loves a good buttery. She cab. loves the, the, the butter. Right? And I've always, <laughs> made, I've always made fun of her for it. You know in a fun way, making fun in a fun way. Uh, she was actually told by our winemaker that you can use buttery to describe yeah. this wine. Did you taste it? Yes. Okay, this up. is a That's delicious. this is a big bold wine. So Tanat is a grape generally grown in France. It's also very widely planted in Uruguay. Whoa. But we're planting it a lot in Texas now because it, it takes to the warm weather. Texas right now is kind of like where California was in the early 70s. Not a lot of people were taking the wine seriously then, and that's kind of the way that it is now. It's come a long way, and I think it's only gonna get bigger and bigger. I love how passionate you are about wine. Oh my gosh. She like, this is so come on. good. It's come like, on. No, Stop it's like it. amazing. I love watching people talk about things that they're passionate about. It doesn't matter what yeah. it is, but you can, there's just something that's like, that's so cute about it's it. Great. So it, if you're looking for something like this in your local wine shop or grocery store, you can ask for Tanat. If you go someplace like Total Wine, they've got a huge wine selection. They have Tanat there. It's really good. When you plan a wedding, you usually want to do a white and a red. Like one, right? one white. One of one of one each. Red? Yeah. Like, which which red do you? Oh yeah, we need help. How with do that. you do that? That's really tough. What's the best? Just tell us. What's like the most like that you can't go wrong? Oh, I would say white's pretty easy. People generally love Sauvignon Blanc. Oh. Yes, that's my favorite. Yeah. Reds <laughs> is really tough. But I would say Pinot, Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, that's what I'm gonna say! 
Do I like Pinot? I like Pinot. It's light. It's light, and you can't go it's wrong, It's light. Right? It's a medium body. People are going to drink medium it. Medium body. I always like looking at the wine list because I have no idea. I say medium body. And I don't mm. even know what that means. All right, what's this fourth guy? Okay, fourth one. Woo, I'm starting to feel mm. a little, uh, a little, buzzy buzz. a little heat in my chest. Oh. Okay. Oh. This is a Bordeaux. So a lot of people are probably familiar with uh, that Ooh, this is that muskier. term, musky. This is Pagodas de Co. This is a wine that oh, is no. just as good as some of the other real, the, the, as the expensive ones. So you're paying like eight, uh, this is more expensive than all these other wines. You're paying eighty dollars a bottle for this, Ooh. as opposed to two to three hundred dollars a Ooh bottle. Woohoo! I'm not paying does that it, much for wine. Oh, Joe's that's good. Do that a lot. I'm going like Joe's. it. That's good, right? Damn, it's a bit. But Let's that's, that tell like them sweet. why you decanted it. Sweet? Oh. Because what I'm Tipsy. saying, this is what happened when we did the holiday cocktail. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, my God. That's old cilantro. Keep looking. I didn't think he was strong, but I think it's because he's already looking. Hammered. This is a super elegant wine. Uh, we decanted this one. So honestly. Why do, yeah, why do you do that? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. Let's touch Ooh, on that. Oh, that right. was really spicy, that. So let's let's talk about decanting, right? So this is a decanter. I always see these and I think it's just a cute house decoration. Many wines will benefit from just pouring it in here and then you don't have to let it sit. But you don't, just pour you it don't straight put, in the like, it, If we don't finish this today, what do you do with the rest of it? You can, these are like a little- like, We're not gonna finish this today? Oh, oh. we are. You can, get a, you can get a topper, you can get a little topper. Lots, but that's not like- You couldn't save that though overnight. No? It depends on the wine. If you don't finish it, you do definitely wanna top it and it still should be good the next day, but wines are different. Wine's a living thing, so it's transforming in the bottle. The longer mm. you hold it, wow. you keep it in the bottle. That's why people lot. talk about aging their wines, cellaring their wines. The longer you hold on to a bottle of wine, it, the more it's gonna change. She's aged like a fine wine. Yeah. But also, Beautiful. these have a ton Beautifully of- Beautifully said. Red wine has some good probiotics in it. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. 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 her probiotics. If you want something like this, you can ask the clerk for a bottle of Bordeaux. It's one easy way And to he's probably gonna say, okay, where from in Bordeaux? Just tell him that you're looking for something. I and mean, your price point. Yeah, yeah, and your price point, because yeah. Bordeaux, like I said, this is about an $80 bottle. Is this the cheapest Bordeaux? No, oh, no. Okay, okay. I, we drank a bottle of Bordeaux the other night that was $22, That's and, right, it was great. Perfect. and it was great. And it was great. So Bordeaux's pretty wide range, so you probably want to do a little studying up on Bordeaux and kind of figure out what fits in your general palate. But again, Cabernet, Merlot is generally what the blend's made up of. <laughs> We were married at this place in Austin, Texas called Addison Grove. It's so beautiful. beautiful. And it was like a very rustic. Couldn't have was, asked for a better weather day either. No, oh, it was stunning. It, we truly lucked out. It was like crisp and cold mm -hmm. and bright sunshine. It was beautiful. I was so nervous too because with planning our wedding, I was like, are you going to be done with the show? Like, yes. is everything going to yeah. be done with you traveling? I always knew that I wanted a fall wedding because I'm very hot natured. We're always sweating. Same. All of the girls, I had them all in different outfits. That part, part was plan. a little yeah. stressful. Yeah. Finding your top was stressful. But it yeah. looked great. It looked amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Mitch really went intense on the food. It was a fried feast. Fried like feast? The no, there was just fried chicken. I mean, there I'm was not a fried feast. Fried it was, it was a southern feast. Yeah. yeah. I like fried chicken, but I don't have it much. So we like had fried lost. chicken, we had Brussels sprouts and mashed potato. It was just wonderful. Cheers, guys. That was so fun. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Um, you guys, we'll see you next time. Make sure to subscribe and you'll be back. You'll see him again. Cheers. 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 Cheers.